Stay focused and energized using G Fuel. You can use the discount code OGXRays to get 10% off your entire order. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Texas. Welcome back to another episode of my top five paint jobs of the week. We got a really cool episode here today. If you guys want to be in the next episode, once again, all you have to do is tweet at me your best paint jobs using the hashtag OG's top five paint jobs. You might be featured in the next episode. So make sure to send in yours. It can be something sick, it can be something silly that you made, and you might be featured next week. Anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and jump straight into it if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure to leave a like and a favorite it does get the content out there and of course if you are new then of course make sure to subscribe last but not least this episode is sponsored by control freak if you guys want to improve your aim then make sure to check them out links down below use the code ogx to get 10 percent off anyway so let's go ahead and jump straight into it. we had some really awesome submissions we got five this week that were really really good and i wanted to share them with you so let's go ahead and jump straight into it once again guys make sure to submit yours send me a screenshot send me a picture send me the best quality you can and it might be featured so coming in at our number five spot, we've got Tygon Riley who sent in a pretty nice Pokemon camo. It looks nice because it has a nice little yellow base on the outside or gold, whatever you want to call it. And then it has a Pokeball right there on the Argus. I thought it was really perfect the way that he put it on there. So there we go. A really nice Pokemon camo. Congratulations to Tygon on the number five spot. Moving on now to our number four spot, we got Jose Ruvalcaba. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, dude, but he came up with a really nice Pac-Man camo and he's got the little ghost. So I thought it was a really nice one. It might be a little bit simpler, but again, it looks like it might have taken a while to try to get these kind of Pac-Man kind of looks on him and he's got blue on the outside. I thought it was just really good. I really enjoyed it. So hopefully you guys liked that number four spot. I just thought that it was a really sick little camo here. So that was the number four spot. Congratulations to Jose. Let's go ahead and move on now to our number three spot it's gonna go to king pineapple who made a bullet bill knife and i just i really like this one because it's got like the baby blue kind of on the outside on the blade and then on the actual bullet bill he just he put so much detail into it. it actually looks like bullet bill from mario so i thought it was a really good one i thought it'd be a really hilarious one just thinking about having like a bullet bill running around with that knife and just stabbing people so i had to put it at number three congratulations again to king pineapple on the number three spot all right, so let's go ahead and move on now to our number two spot this week. It's going to go to Jack, and he made, honestly, something that looks like a legit camo. It looks great. It's a purple one, and it is the Dragon Whisper camo. You guys can see right here. It's a really, really nice because it's got like a weird kind of dark purple color, and it matches out with like a lighter purple. It looks great. I thought it looked really professional as well, so I wanted to put it in there. It had to go at the number two spot. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and move on now to our number one spot this week. And it is going to go to RUV1. And he made a Star Wars trooper camo and i know we had one last week but this one was just so good because he's got the orange he kind of blends into stormtrooper in there like it's a little bit hidden in there i thought honestly that it was a really really awesome paint job so i put him at the number one spot anyways guys once again if you guys have any paint jobs that you guys want to submit make sure to send them in to me using the hashtag ogs top five paint jobs you might be featured in the next episode guys so please send me in your creations you might be featured of course guys if you did enjoy this episode make sure to leave a like and a favorite it does get the content out there and it is very much appreciated and of course if you are new if you want to see more content like this in the future community driven stuff top fives i do them every single friday so make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss those videos i'll see you guys next time i make sure i'm out like comment subscribe if you guys want to keep talking twitter is the best place to do so and of course make sure to use the discount code ogx to get 10 percent off control freak and g fuel links down below i'm out peace